Welcome everyone to Teltonica webinar dedicated to cold chain management with ice sensors. My name is Gintarja Narashkevičiūtė and I am Operational Marketing Coordinator and I will be your host today. Today with me I have Donata Surbonas, Project Coordinator for ice sensors and eye beacons, who will help me along the way. Donatas will, answers, uh, will answer all your questions during the webinar. Please leave it in the Q&A section at the bottom of your screen. Please use this rare opportunity to chat with our R&D colleagues directly. And before we begin, I want to mention that this webinar will be recorded and we will add it to our YouTube channel in a week or two. And now, without further ado, let's begin the webinar. Today we will cover market trends and insights from Africa and beyond, challenges in managing temperature-sensitive goods, smart monitoring with Teltonica ice sensors, the benefits of implementing the solution, overview of the iApp for ease monitoring and management. And of course, in the, at the end, we will have live Q&A session. So let's dive in into the topic. Let's start with the big picture. In 2024, the global food and beverage logistics market was valued at almost $4 trillion. By the 2031, it's expected to reach almost $7 trillion. So what's driving this impressive growth? Mainly two key factors. First, the rise of e-commerce in the food and beverage industry. Second, a growing demand for perishable products such as fruits, vegetables, pharmaceuticals or flowers. We will take online grocery shopping as an example. In 2023, people spent about $110 billion on a food and drinks online, and only in one year that figure jumped to $150 billion. Europe is a major player. In fact, it is the one of the most developed food logistics markets in the world. The European food and beverage logistics market is projected to reach 380 billion by 2030. Among the top contributors, we find Germany, the United Kingdom, and France. All of these and previously mentioned numbers clearly show how crucial logistics is for maintaining smooth, reliable food supply and change worldwide and how much opportunity exists for innovative logistics and telematic solutions. Now let's zoom in on Africa, a region where food and beverage logistics are growing especially fast. Why? Because of the urbanization, a rising middle class and increasing demand for both fresh and processed foods. The Africa's food and beverage logistics market is projected to reach nearly $11 billion in 2025 and grow to over $17 billion in five years. Now let's shift our focus to another industry. The global pharmaceutical logistics market in 2024 was valued at approximately $91.4 billion. Looking ahead, it's expected to grow to $154 billion by 2033. Right now, Europe is leading the global market. The European pharmaceutical logistics market is both substantial and growing. Growth here is driven by the region's strong pharmaceutical manufacturing base, increasing demand for logistics following advanced supply and chain solutions. Last year, the European pharmaceutical logistics market was estimated more than $70 billion, and by the 2030, it's expected to reach $109 billion. But while Europe holds a strong position, other regions are catching up, and one worth watching closely is Africa. South Africa, the largest pharmaceutical logistics market in this region, which is expected to reach more than 770 million by 2030. According to the Africa Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and African Development Bank, less than 30% of pharmaceutical products consumed in Africa are manufactured locally. Even more striking, the continent imports 99% of its vaccines along with the 70-90% of its medicines and medical devices. 
That represents a very clear reason why cold chain logistics is so critical in this region. Let's talk about the sector that might surprise you with its telematics potential – floriculture. At first glance, floriculture might not seem like the most demanding industry, but in reality it holds a huge potential for telematics service providers. The numbers speak for themselves. The global floriculture market was valued at 55.2 billion two years ago, and it's expected to grow to 85 billion by 2032. According to the Dutch Association of Wholesalers and Floriculture Products, flower and plant exports increased 7% in this January, compared to the same period last year. The boost is largely due to the more technology-driven trade networks and improved logistics coordination, which help to ensure floriculture products are delivered quickly and efficiently. Now let's look at Africa's role in all of this. The continent plays a significant role in the global floriculture supply chain, especially when it comes to exports to Europe and Asia. The floriculture logistics market in Africa is a vital multi-billion dollar sector and growing especially fast. Take Kenya uh, for an example. Its floriculture market is projected to reach almost 1.5 billion by 2030. Ethiopia is another major contributor generating over 500 million annually for its floriculture industry. And South Africa is also emerging. Its exports are growing steadily, reaching from 100 to 150 million dollars annually. For telematics companies, all of this spells opportunity, from cold chain monitoring to route optimization and delivery tracking. Floriculture logistics are heavily reliant on efficient real-time solutions, and that's exactly where telematics technology shines. It might seem like industries such as pharmaceuticals, food and beverage, and floriculture have little in common, but when it comes to temperature-sensitive logistics, they face remarkably similar challenges. First major challenge is ensuring that all stored goods are kept at the correct temperature levels to prevent spoilage and maintain product quality. The second talent is staying compliant with temperature tracking regulations which means being able to download and present temperature data during audits. Failure to comply can result in legal repercussion, financial penalties, and reputational damage. And the third, often overlooked but just as critical, is the reliance on manual temperature checks. These are time-consuming, prone to the human error, and make it difficult to ensure compliance or respond quickly when something goes wrong. Together, these shared challenges highlight just how important reliable real-time temperature monitoring and control is, making a telematic solutions an essential part of today's logistics operations. All of these challenges can be met with our eye sensors and teltonica trackers, from basic solutions to professional ones, or even without them, just with another gateway or an app. Let's briefly review Teltonica GPS trackers, mostly commonly used, most commonly used in cold chain logistics. First, for those who are looking for a simple yet long-lasting device with an IP67 rated casing, we recommend the FMC234 GPS tracker with a large capacity battery. This model is often chosen for trailer tracking. However, the majority of logistics business are looking for more sophisticated solutions, including tachograph file downloads, live data, CAN data reading, and interfaces such as RS-232 for connecting external devices. For these needs, the FMX650 series is the perfect choice, as it belongs to our professional category. Of course, these two models are not the only options. Feel free to contact us to find the solution that best fits your specific requirements. That said, today's webinar highlight, highlight is Teltonica Eye devices and their capabilities. So let's take a closer look at our temperature sensor portfolio. Now I want to represent the key of the solution, our eye sensors. These are a compact and reliable Bluetooth low energy devices from Teltonica, designed for efficient temperature monitoring and more. 
It's key strain the ability to track temperature in real time, making it an ideal for industries like pharmaceuticals, food logistics, or floriculture. But it doesn't stop there. The sensor also measures movement and humidity, giving you a deeper insights into how assets are being used and stored. It comes with a smart Raj IP67 rated casing, so it's suitable for both indoor and outdoor use. And with integrated mounting points, it's easy to install whenever you need. Thanks to its battery life up to 5 years, it supports long-term deployment with minimal maintenance. Our eye sensor EN12830 has everything that the standard eye sensor has. Plus, it has the EN12830 certificate that provides its reliability and precision, and it's calibrated in the certified laboratory and has certified precision class of half of Celsius. It can save temperature logs to its internal memory, memory for up to 345 days. It has an upgraded casing that meets European and Food and Drug Administration regulations for food contact application. All of these updates make the sensor a game changer for call chain providers. What's so unique about this certificate? This is a European standard that guarantees accurate and reliable temperature readings. To achieve it, Temperature recording devices undergo a rigorous testing by accredited laboratory. And why does it matter? Compliance with the cold chain regulations, assurance of product safety and quality, reduced risks of product spoilage and loss. That's why temperature sensors with this certification are often a requirement for cold chain operations. In addition, another important concept is calibration. It means adjusting a sensor to make sure it gives correct temperature readings. And it's achieved by comparing sensor readings to a known temperature, then correcting any errors through settings or adjustments, and documenting the process. All of that ensures the sensor temperature readings are accurate, which is crucial for safety, quality control, and meeting rules. The best part, our ice sensor EN is laboratory calibrated out of the box. Now let's see how we can implement eye sensors to real-world scenarios. First solution is cold chain logistics. To solve these issues, one of our trackers must be installed inside the reefer to receive Bluetooth low energy signals from eye sensors. These compact devices are placed inside the refrigerated trucks or directly inside temperature-sensitive boxes to monitor and transmit real-time temperature readings throughout the entire journey. The sensor supports configurable temperature thresholds and will trigger the alert if its values move outside the predefined range in the configurator. They also include inter internal memory for data logging, ensuring that all data is securely recorded and retrievable, even during short signal disruptions. You might say, what FMC234 is doing here? Well, it works as a gateway and collects all temperature and location data and transmits to a remote monitoring platform. All of that gives you benefits like you can quickly notice any temperature deviations and take necessary actions to save the production. Temperature data is recorded to internal memory for audits and ensuring compliance with regulatory standards. Minimized risk of fines or rejected shipments. Another solution is temperature monitoring in storage. Here eye sensors are placed inside medical refrigerator units to continuously monitor, monitor temperature, temperature with great accuracy. Same as in previous use case, it helps to ensure that all goods are stored under the optimal conditions and pre preventing spoilage. Improves product quality and extends shelf life ensures compliance with food safety standards, making audits smoother and reducing the risk of non-compliance penalties. What's different from the previous solution, that instead of GPS tracker, it is enough to have Teltonica IF. Let's review its benefits. Firstly, it allows medical teams and responsible personnel to view current and historical temperature data, making it easy to keep track of storage conditions. 
Secondly, the solution also enables users to export temperature logs as required for instance doing inspections or compliance checks. And if and with the app always in your pocket, you can instantly check temperature data anytime, giving you peace of mind on the go. Earlier, I talked about the challenges in the coaching industry and how our eye sensors can be used in real life scenarios to address them. But now let's wrap up with wrap up of what happens after implementing IoT solutions. The numbers speak for themselves. First, the USDA estimates that IO3-driven cold chain optimization could reduce food waste by 12 to 15% annually, translating to the 16 billion in savings. In healthcare, a 14, 40% drop in vaccine spoilage. Thanks to IoT solution that ensure temperature sensitive vaccine stay within required conditions throughout the supply chain. So if you are still wondering whether it's worth investing in IoT for your cold chain operations, these numbers should make it clear. It's not just worth it, it's essential.